Welcome to Module 3 of Docker Fundamentals. In the first two modules, I dove into an introduction in history of Docker as a container technology management tool and also into container technologies. I then moved into installing and getting Docker started on multiple platforms such as AWS and on individual operating systems such as Ubuntu. And now we're going to take a look at actually using Docker from getting a Hello World application started utilizing Node.js to starting and interacting with Docker within the interactive shell. And we'll also take a look at what repositories are in context of Docker. What you'll need to do as soon as you have Docker installed is to actually start the Docker service, start Docker as a daemon service. To do that, you just type in sudo path to docker slash docker slash d ampersand. This will launch Docker as a daemon service and then allow you to continue to interact at your terminal. Once this command is issued, this will find the Ubuntu image by name in the central index and download it from the top level central repository to a local image cache. We'll talk a little bit more about central indexes and the repositories in just a minute. So let's take a look real quick by logging into our Docker server and seeing what the command looks like when we start Docker. There we go, we have a port number and it shows that it's running by displaying that information. Now let's say we also want to pull a pre-built image to use as our Docker server. Now what this does is basically goes through the first steps of what would happen if it was the first time you were running Docker. Since I've actually run it once before on this server, you didn't get to see the Ubuntu image downloaded. But you can always download it after the fact, just like I did here. So what is happening now is I'm logged into an Ubuntu server that has a container running through Docker on that server. And Docker then has this container enabled so that you can run all sorts of applications or whatever you need as services as if it were a standalone instance of the operating system. Uh -huh. 